Okay, there we go. Seriously, four slots, not enough for the abilities in this game. Not at all. I almost wish there was a passives tree. That I could just work with. Mm -hmm. This is why I always like passives in any video game. You know, the whole... Oh, hello. Angel of Death Scythes. The Charred Council demanded the finest smiths of heaven craft a weapon for the Four Horsemen as tribute to the Rider's role, maintain a, maintaining the balance. The Angel of Death double scythes were forged with the power of light, healing the wielder with every strike made against his enemies. Oh, I found my weapon. Mm -hmm. Please don't... Shh. What? Alright, we're about to level up anyway. Oh, okay. Health, health per hit, health per kill, health per crit. They're not actually that great. Like, the, I think they do... How much damage do they do compared to what I currently do? Slightly less. Oh, no, you're still at level 19? Yeah. Well, I haven't done any grinding. Because uh, this is... So, I don't mind grinding in games, but it has to feel justified. It has to feel like there's kind of a reason to do. I guess we could do the Crucible. There's Angel Armor the next area, and I'll tell you how to get it. Yes, please do. If... Oh, no. Please tell me how to do it if I can't figure it out initially. Oh, do we have to do this again? Wow. That's dumb. That should just stay open. You need oh, to go back? Right. Uh, there was items. Dumb that I have to resolve this puzzle to just get just get through. Because yeah, I can't jump through the portal up there. Oh, so. did you never pull the lever? The lever might keep it down. Yeah, it probably does. Mm -hmm. Oh, which probably keeps it up. I guess it wasn't my priority at the time because I was like, treasure! Alright, we got it anyway. Did it actually do what it was supposed to? Yeah, it should keep it open now. Yeah, it's open. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, hi. Goldbringer. Goldbringer? Is it just for I gold? guess so. Fashioned by an unknown and truly prag pragmatic mind, Goldbringer robs all those that it strikes, not only of their life, but of their coin. Engraved on the blade is the familiar wisdom. To the victor go the spoils. It's funny, though, because for all oh. intents and purposes, if you were to slay something, you'd get their money after the fact. I suppose that just makes it more expedient. Well, no. Midas Touch, I'm turning them into gold. Oh. Okay. Um. It's left trigger to undo. There we go. What do we got over here? The answer is mochi. But <laughs> that's mainly in my mouth. Hmm. Red bean paste mochi. It's kind of my favorite. Would you really call it your favorite dessert? No. But it's my favorite, like, I think Japanese treat. Because mm -hmm. I like curry and I like mochi. Or red bean paste. Anything. I'm trying to think of other stuff. Not a whole lot, honestly. I do like sushi and My udon problem with sushi and... is it always makes me feel sick. Like it can taste really good. But I think my issue with the last time was probably tempura. Tempura is a little too oily. Makes my stomach upset. Never had mochi. If you ever find like a Japanese grocery store, they often have mochi. Yeah, it's it's actually interesting seeing the process which people make mochi. It's essentially pulverized rice. Yeah, they beat up rice. They have to have a guy with a hammer and a guy that needs it. And they usually work as swiftly as possible to make it the most gelatinous, rice, tasty... I don't know. And they sprinkle it with cornstarch so it doesn't stick to anything, but... Red bean paste. I remember when I was first introduced to it, my friend had come back from Japan 
and she had bought a bunch of sort of more like gelatinous cubes of red bean paste. And she would refer to it as Japanese chocolate. And I'm like, what? And she's like, well, you know, you know, back in the day, there was no such thing as chocolate. So. Yeah, I don't think Japan had chocolate up until the Dutch. Yeah, because I, chocolate was native to the Americas. It would, would never have been a flavor anyone would have had before the 1600s or 1700s. Yeah, so Zombies. red bean paste, it. I suppose if you add enough sugar to it, it. Yeah. So that's how you lock it. Nice I forgot. Okay. Though we did get red bean paste drink, and that doesn't taste too good. No. That tastes miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and even the green tea powder we got tastes weird. There we go. But Let's I really see. like the Thai tea powder. Let us try... Let us try Midas Touch. It's like having hot cocoa, but with Thai tea. Ooh. That's a large formation of crystal. Are you looking for an entrance? There seems I'm to be a weird marker. I'm looking around. There's stuff all over. Because mm -hmm. they like to have Trixies. Like that. Mm. Which I'm assuming we're actually going to need. Something to draw the light from? No, it doesn't look like it really does anything. Rider! What's up, dudes? <laughs> Ah. So it looks like I'm just getting small amounts of money every time I, like, complete a, uh, free hit combo. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is not... Have you ever really needed to purchase anything in this game, though? Uh, n yes and no. There are absolutely reasons why. I'll... Uh. Hazelnut wow. chocolate truffle. That was a big one. That was so big. <laughs> I noticed that they weren't all equally... Mm -mm, those were like... huge. What the hell? <laughs> I noticed that there was one that barely had any nuts on it, and then there was there were two or three that were twice the size of what they should normally be, and you must have gotten one of them. This one is unnecessarily nutty. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And it's like the size of two of them packed together. It's... Ah. <laughs> I just picked one randomly and I was like, oh, oh. Ah, huh, yeah, you can't just kill them in a circle. Oh. I wonder oh. if, uh, I wonder if this weapon gives a flat amount or if it's based on the challenge of the enemy. Oh, hey. Angel of Death shoulder piece. The Charred Council demanded that the finest smiths of heaven craft armor for the four horsemen as tribute to the rider's role in maintaining the balance. The Angel of Death's shoulder piece is finely crafted with the emblem of the mighty griffin, and it protects the wearer by increasing his ability to regenerate health and wrath energy. <laughs> Angel of Death boots! Blah 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 about the uh, balance. The Angel of Death boots protect the wearer by increasing... Um, it's the same dialogue. It was the same dialogue throughout. I get to look swank. It's a lot better than what I got, too. Well, time to get Start rid of to all look my more other angelic. stuff. <laughs> all gold and white. I, did, I am very gold. Wow. Oh, hello. 14% critical chance. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, what I might do is go back to Vulgrim at some point and just buy a bunch of talismans, see if I can get, like, uh, some more, like, crit or arcane crit. Mm -hmm. 
Let me see. Is there anything else here? No possessed weapons. We do have the Fists of Elazar. I guess I should probably grab them. Try them out. Yeah, Skeletal Axe of Rending is level 19 now. No. Oh. Yeah, so some of them scale with level. Dark Talons do. I don't know what the... I don't know what the, uh... The Scepter of the Deposed King, can you bring it out? Is that what that blue haze is? Yeah, I just... No, no, you have the claws. Yeah. Well, I wanted to try the claws for a second. So it's just a nice hammer. So the crow armor is better. I... I had the crow armor. As a as a DLC thing on the PC, I don't know where to get it on this because they just handed it to me originally. Oh, wait, did you get that? Yeah, that was the chest. Okay. Oh, can I? Can I? No, it's too far away. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Yep. Go back the way you came. Yeah, that regen is still not very good. No matter how many points you jam in. Oh, it's in the demon world now. Okay. Okay, that one's off. Yep. That's feeding the light over, and that's gonna zap that. Yeah. Do you need to do the same for those yellow crystals? Yeah, or? for this one over here. I'm sure it's a little bit more on the optional side of things. Mm, I think no? it's, I think it needs to be bombed out. I guess so. But you can get over there now. Well, if you change up which one you have access to. Oh, you mean I could get over to that? If you wanted we to. We need a bomb, though. Oh, the bomb's up bomb's there. bomb's over there. Okay. You I feel like to go we probably around. have to get up to that weird sluice gate situation. Okay, that's fine. Maybe? Mm. Yeah. See how Ooh, this kind of connects? This looks extensive. It is It is the only dungeon in this area. Mm -hmm. We've actually cleared a decent chunk of it, looking at it now. Still ways to go, but still. Uh, here we go. So the crow armor has the same effect as the angel armor, but it's slightly better. Well, I mean, it makes sense that we get it later on. At least I'll be fully healed between fights, which will be kind of nice. Or, partly? I don't get extra money for that. I'm disappointed. So are these... the corrupted spirits of the angels? Because... I don't They know. seem to come up from the corpses. There's only I so many... I wonder if there's a beast cherry in this game. Well... We also have the concept art book that yeah, has the name of the creature. Yeah, but that's not exactly the most helpful. Oh, no, that's true. Oh, that reminds me. Did I get the thing from around the tree over here? The uh, yeah. I must have gotten it. Or... You can just... Oh, just to see. Because, yeah, there was a tree here. Yeah, I must have gotten it, because there was an item right there. Must have slipped my mind. I was probably too busy, like, distracted by the mochi that I was eating. <laughs> or the chocolate. Yeah, either or. Oh, no, you must have had too mochi. Yep. I like them refrigerated, too. I don't know about you. Um, I don't mind them either way. I kind of like how squishy they are when they're right out of the box. But we refrigerate them, obviously, and that... Stiffens them up. Make some tack here. I just feel like when they're soft, it's kind of like it's it's gummy. Mm -hmm. Like kind of like a marshmallow. <laughs> when whereas when they've been re refrigerated, they've got a little bit more like body to them. Yeah. I, I have the same thing with caramels, actually. Right, you did put all your caramels into the freezer. They're not like rock solid. Milky ways go rock solid. Now 
Now, these look like harpies. They have winged arms as well as wings. Oh, right. I want to try the birds. Get them, my bird men. There we go. Who? Uh, I'm not even sure. Did we tear off her head? I thought you, like, latched onto her back and broke her neck and then flew threw her over your head onto the floor? That... Ugh. That's a fun combo. Give me loads of money, too. I'm not actually sure if it's worth it, but I'll take it at least for a little while. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so we wanna... Oh. <laughs> Just another one of these again. This is amusing. Well, at least they're consistent with their mechanics. So you're going to weigh that down? You need to weigh the other one down? There we go. Whee! Whoop. Oh, whoa! <laughs> they went flying. Yep. And there we go. Uh, oh. I was about to be like, now what? Ooh, is that corruption. is that water corrupted? Liquid corruption. Yeah, I know. Which is real gross. Let's see. And now we we need to empower that one, but it's sort of cracked. It still functions though. Uh. Can you look out at the landscape just for a moment? Like, go to the right. Up the right. Okay. I just want to see the horizon. It's if a lot it's of just, just empty fro floating rocks and broken stuff. Mm -hmm. Skyboxes have gotten a lot better over the past de decade. Mm -hmm. There's a big crystal up there. Now, it feels like we're supposed to just jump all the way back down. Uh, we have to purify this. I, I think there's a way to... Oh, there's our answer. There we go. There you go. Looks like it was within range. Yep. I think they extended the range significantly for that section because I don't I don't think so. But yeah, so that's how we get over to that those those crystal corrupted crystals. Ooh, can you follow the water? Yeah. I know that there was a big bridge or an aqueduct. Yeah. Yeah. There Aqueducts we go. Aqueducts are cool. It's a shame we don't use them anymore. But I understand, well, I mean, it's really easy to understand why. Now people build water towers instead. This game's 10 years old? Nah, it's six? It's five or six years old. Seven? It came out, like, around when we graduated college. That's all I really remember. Uh, it's... I want to say Darksiders 1 is 10 years old. Same thing with, uh... Same thing with, like, Dead Space and a couple others. It was weird playing Dead Space and, you know, 10 years later and except for the, except for the stupid mouse scrolling and the fact that it's, you know, unapologetically brown. The <laughs> game actually hold, held up real well, especially compared to like a lot of modern horror games, which I don't know. Whoops. It blew up in your face. I think I dropped it. Oops. It's interesting how... The corruption creates the instruments of its own destruction. Yeah. Okay, so we want to go... No, we don't even want to go down. So there was nothing exciting over here except for progress. Which I guess is exciting in its own right, but... Well... Yeah, it's that thing. That that thing that's been warping around this entire time? Yeah, it, you said it was a demon of some sort? I don't know. Or an imp? Darksiders 1 is in 2010. Really? I'm fairly certain it was Darksiders 1's older than that, but it could be wrong. No, I wouldn't be surprised. Because we got into college in 
2009. Because this was ne definitely not a 2014 game. If this was a 2014 game, I would have done the Let's Play on it. But no, this is this but you'd is like played it in 2013. Yeah, I played it in 2013. So it would make sense if the second game was released three years after the first, maybe. Yeah, really hope three will be good. Me too. I. I have a special place in my heart for the D Darksiders series because I wanted to work at Vigil so bad, like it was my dream job. Well, that's gone. Mm -hmm. Now, did they get a whole bunch of new concept artists, or did they still use all of the so old assets? So they're using and... a lot of uh, Joe Madera's old work, plus some new stuff. They're using a lot of ex-Vigil developers, too. Mm -hmm. uh, like, the studio that's working on Darksiders 3 is... More or less, a third of the company went their own way. A third of the company kind of did whatever and reformed to make Darksiders 3. And then the last third is working on Battle Chasers or mm. whatever uh, whatever Joe Madera is working on now. Dodged a bullet there. I know, but it would have been cool anyway. I Well, <laughs> it's one of those things where when we graduate from school... Anything would have been fine, even a dying company. Anything would have been company. fine. Yeah. Because I don't there were It's interesting because people aren't really <laughs> familiar with any oh, oh It's an invisible wall. Ah. Uh, yeah. Cuz they don't want you getting around even though like you could totally get around that. Impossible. That's you. People are thinking that 4 will be strife and 5 all of them. I would enjoy that, but it would be really hard to do. I, I always wanted that them, to be the formula, but... I would like that, but at the same time, I'd rather them just focus. And scope is important. That was the downfall of this game. Like, I was trying to talk about this. I've been trying to talk about this constantly. This is a game that scope is larger than it needed to be. And it held the game down so hard. Yeah, because... Darksiders 1 had a much more concise layout, storyline. Uh, you didn't have to worry about all this equipment and such. And at the same time, they had a lot of production value when it came to the characters the animation, and the cutscenes. The characters. And it, it was limited. You didn't have the gear treadmill. It was pure collect-a-thon upgrade system. Whereas this game, I, we made fun of this at least in a couple instances of the collect oh, the separate parts that's weird. of the MacGuffin that have been broken into two or three parts. Oh, but now you need this other device in order to access the previous MacGuffin. Now you have to yeah, find like, three I, more pieces. I straight up would have preferred it if they hadn't, if nobody told us where to go, what to do, and just stuff happened to us. Because in Darksiders 1, there was that one segment where we were running parallel with that one Forge Master guy and just trying to. It wasn't necessarily to beat him, but what was it to do? We were, I mean, we were fighting him. But then it became a, a battle against the demons instead, and then at the end, we become allies anyway. And, like, this is. This has been fetch quests for the most part. There are, there are some bounty missions, but... And, like, I enjoy this game more. Like, the mm -hmm. level design, the world design, the art, so on and so forth. The main problem is just, like... I'm so disconnected from it all. Uh, there's almost no mystery to this game. Huh. You know, that's it. Mm hmm? There's no mystery. Everyone knows the answers. Kind of. Like, what do we not know about this plot? We know we're... whether well, whether or not death will choose to revive the Nephilim or to revive mankind. That's yeah. the only conflict that I see. But we know that truly. that's uh, since we played Darksiders One, we know the outcome of that. Mm-hmm. 
to some degree, because death has to redeem war, kind of. Which means he has to revive humanity, probably at the cost of the Nephilim, because that's what we've been told. And that's probably exactly going to be what's happened, unless he pulls some, like, kind of crazy nonsense and actually revives both, but I'm somehow not betting on it. Was were, was humanity revived in the last one? I don't think so. What? Wait, who what? Because I thought, I thought that war was redeemed because he ousted Abaddon and... But remember, the, the council are, are jerks. Mm -hmm. Like, they were planning on double-crossing war to begin with. Yeah. So... Death's going on this big, long quest to well, redeem war. But remember, in this timeline, Uriel hasn't actually met war. Yeah. Yet. Which is weird, because at the, at the end of Darksiders 1, you saw the the three yeah. horsemen this coming is, down. This is slightly before Darksiders 1. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of a parallel prequel pre parallel quill mm -hmm. which sounds like nonsense business parallel quill <laughs> yeah cuz it's like it's 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 definitely before or maybe it is happening simultaneously well i think we actually find War was still the in specific prison. chronology out uh during the last cutscene for this game specifically because I think we immediately lead into that meteor segment. Well, the interesting thing is... Uriel hadn't... hadn't... had thought that War was still imprisoned, and she's like, oh, well, when he gets out, I'm gonna... I'm going to slay him for what he did. But at the same time, her angels were already shouting for Abaddon because he was supposedly slain. Well, yeah, but they they knew he was slain because Abaddon got killed, but quote unquote. Abaddon got killed in front of war. Abaddon got killed in front of war before war got imprisoned. Oh, okay. I'm remember I was the prologue that part. in in Darksiders one was like well before. And ish. then you awaken later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. So that lowers it. For reasons? But it's also a crank, so... There's a couple of things here. I'm just gonna wander around until stuff happens. Ish. Yeah, two is a hundred years before one, I believe. Uh... Yeah, could be. I don't know. I mean, we'll see the full chronology as we go along. Um... And another Renegoth thing. Oh, this just opens the gate so we can get back to where we were. Okay. It's a cool statue. That is a cool statue. Alright, so I don't... So we've got a portal here. We've got the portal down below. We have to two To the laser cranks. thing. We've got this. Oh. oh. Two... Okay, so there's two portals there. And a lever. That's Which probably, probably what... opens that up. Oh, so hey, split yourself in two. Probably. That would make sense? The problem is, I feel like I'm supposed to do something with those portals. Lower this the... one. And then you should be oh. able to portal from that one to that one. One second. Yeah, you have to have him Yeah, I forgot, because we low... Yeah. Okay. Th then get that one to at least Yeah. So it's currently connected to that. Well you want to be able to access it through the other portal back there. Oh, this is premature. Alright, um but can you just turn around? Yeah. Activate that one. That will allow you to jump into that spot. But you're going to want to... Raise that one so that you can then peer through that one. And then have a way to get through that one. Do you okay. see what I mean? This is messy. 
But yeah, I get it. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, now so, you can just go through. I guess we never needed... No, no, no. Oh, we you gotta, need to uh, set it up? Yeah, we gotta lower this one. Yeah, you have to lower that so one. So we never needed a split. Oops. Well, you did because you needed someone to hold the gate down. Oh, yeah. Good point. Feels like there should be another layer of complexity or something. Um, yeah, jump there. Oh, right. Jump. Oh. Oh. Wait, it wasn't... You didn't jump far enough? Or was there uh, yep. something you had to latch on no, to? No, 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 no. I got it. I needed to charge it up. I wasn't even thinking about that. All right. Are the portals still activated properly? Or did they reset? I think no, they... they're still there. I think I just got to go closer. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want it... No, it's fine. But now you have to redo it all it's over fine. again. Okay, there we go. So if we look at this... Are you sure it's the correct yep, one? Yep, it is. And okay. it's all it's all boosty boosted. Uh... Oh, wrong one. Other one. Mm -hmm. It's a shame that you have to do the boost as you're laying the, the portal down. Yeah. It's not it, like you can just prepare a jump through it. It'd be just kind of nice if, uh, yeah, if you did like a dash or something. Or if it was just contextual. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is the one where you need the boost. Okay, so it's just auto-boosted. Instead of having you charge it. Because I don't think there's ever been a point in this game where I've needed to ch decide between one or the other. If that makes sense. Well, are you going to merge yourself together? Yeah. There you go. Because, you know, every, every point that we've ever needed to boost, we've only needed to boost there. We didn't need to, like, control our speed. Gotta pick up the money. Because Univac is against the rules and breaks the balance of the game. <laughs> Sorry. It's a... It's a war, Warframe thing. For whatever reason, they just really don't want, like, loot to fly into your, uh, fly into your character when you earn it. dead. There he's dead. Now, there's the chest there. Yeah. I... Hmm. There's that passage that's covered in that, that viscous yep. substance. Well, I'm fairly certain there's a portal surface. Hmm. We might have to find a way to purify it <gasps> elsewhere. Ooh, yeah. Look at how it's leaking out this way. Well, it's coming out of... Mm. It's... The whole building more is... more aqueduct nonsense. Yeah. Actually, we want to go back. And we want to go Well, there's up. this way. Yeah, look. There's a... There's more crystals to blow up, and yep. there's a place to climb. That'll be good. Okay. Oh, this just gets us back here. Okay. We still have that crystal down below. I guess we don't need it yet. Because there, there was the uh, the glowy orb thing mm -hmm. to like get rid of the corruption, but we haven't needed it yet. Which is confusing. Wait, what? We made like a ding noise and it dropped like a purple crystal, but I don't... Oh, that might have been Reaper energy. Like, is it drop? I don't know. I am confused. Well... This is another There's one. There's our answer. This is this is the thing we need to charge. Yeah, so you need this to charge into the other one, right? Yep. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there was the one that looked like it was dead that you had the portal originally on. I gotta figure out how to get back? Over the, uh, hmm. Might as well create a portal spot on this. Yeah. Because that'll make getting back easy. Next order of business. Oh! It's the poison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, it looked... It didn't look poison to me. It actually looked just kind of like dark water. Or, <laughs> you know, it... 
I don't know, I wasn't paying attention, it just looked like regular water, so I was gonna just hop in and then hop off the side. Uh, cause I'm lazy and I'm gonna eat this last mochi unless you want it. You can have it. Okay. Don't the, die this time. The paper's all stuck to it. Oh, that's annoying. Come on. Oh. Wow, wow. Okay, now we have to find the other point. Cryos is all sad that he missed death 3000. Yeah, I died to the, uh, the old, uh, King of the Dead. <laughs> and then the, then you promptly creamed him the next time you faced him. Yeah, well, I mean, that's usually how it goes for me. Gotta warm up a little bit. And then I'm good to go. So, I have died... 3,000 times since January 20th, 2017. That's also not a death, Cryorus. Oh, the getting... Yeah, falling off a ledge is not a death. I take like a smidge of damage. Oh, you know? Huh. That's more of a reset. It's the... When you got killed by the sludge, was that a legitimate death? To you? Uh, yeah, yeah. That was a legit death because it said restart. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, there you go. That one's imbued with the light. But yeah, so I've died 3,000 times since January 20th, 2017. How long would it take me to get over 9,000? Oof. Like, I know that's like the It depends most on what game you're playing and if people meme. are keeping track of it. Like, I know that's the most overused dead meme ever. Are you sure you didn't want to try the other way? Uh, this one had a treasure chest. Treasure chests usually don't mean progress. Okay. It usually means goodies. I just didn't know if the other way was a dead end, like the previous aqueducts. It's like a mild dead end. I cannot. You know, I just have to walk back. Not really that big of a deal. Kind of long. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. Oh, hey, there's that... Yep, there's that guy again. Definitely... Huh. <laughs> Unless this is... This might have been progress. That's what well, I was... Well, we can always just drop down. Not, not a big deal. Yeah, so that's, that's how we progress. Or progress? But yeah, it's a short walk. Okay. Yeah. I was just wondering if there's anything interesting on the other end. Actually, it looks like it they both to the lead same to the spot. same area. So they both probably have treasure. Okay. I like the music for this area. Mm -hmm. I don't remember it from the soundtrack either. No, maybe I do. Oh. Well, keep going. Um, you know that hole in the wall? Oh, so they got cleared out? I'm fairly certain I purified it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we should probably go back. Oh, you want to go into the, the lower yeah. levels and of the building? Yeah, and we can always climb up or something, or who knows. I think you just have to climb the staircase and go across the aqueducts. But yeah, let's, let's go check this hole. Be. Because, yeah, we didn't have access to this. Aha! Ooh. It's the gnome! Oh, yep. Nomad's gnome. It's the gnome! And then there's... Mm, there's usually a treasure chest nearby. Uh, not, not through that great. What? I mean, I just get a gnome? Eh, it was a secret spot, I suppose. I did all this work and I just got a gnome? <laughs> Poppycock! Who came up with that phrase? Well, whatever, we're gonna know. That is the one thing that I'm semi-committed to. 
uh, mm -hmm. over the course of this series. To find all the gnomes. I want to get the abyssal armor. I wouldn't mind going back and doing some of the side quests, but even then, like, they barely even, like, thank you for it. It's just like, here's some money and experience. And it's like, thank, thank. Um, but the, the, the nomads gnomes and, uh, the abyssal armor. Both, I want to get both of those. I assume you're falling asleep. I'm tired. Fairly tired. I'm sort of tired. I also can't tell if people are saying like Nomageddon, Nomoragon, or whatever that gnomish city was from World of Warcraft. I haven't played that in a while. We mm. played it a couple days ago. Yeah. I just can't bring myself to play MMOs generally. Supposedly, they're actually going to be adjusting the leveling experience, like they're squishing it again. That's good. Especially between level 60 and 80, because people were saying that was so slow. I World of Warcraft should have been one of those games where it should only take you a day to get a character up to, not max level. Max but the, level? No, just a day? No, that's a little not, too short. Not like a day of casual play. I mean, like, a full, like, 16, 20 hours. But I think they're reducing most of them by 25 to 30%, depending on where they are. Because, like, I just can't play that game. Like, it's, it's too much, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like, you know, it's like every expansion. Okay, so it's going to be like... A fair amount of time just to get a character up to max level. And then you have to gear them out, which means, like, a lot of repetitive content. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a... Yeah, it, not to mention, people like to experience more than one class. So... Yeah. I, I personally have a goal of having a max level character of each race. Well, not, not each race, sorry, each class. Um, and then each of those being a different race so I can get like different starting areas and character lore and whatever, but I yep. don't know. I just don't have time for it. Oh, like, I know. That's that's kind of the appeal of stuff like um, Warframe and Destiny mm -hmm. is that they're about as fun at any point throughout the game and semi-rewarding too. Uh, I mean, maybe not so much for uh, for Destiny, but I, like in Warframe, for example, you can be getting pretty much like all of the stuff you need mod-wise right from the get-go in the game, and it's actually kind of nice. Uh, I think the reason why I like playing it is because most any other game that I would have played on my own, I play with you. True. Or sit and watch you play. It's true. So I can't really play games on my own time. I mean, you can. You're welcome to. Yeah, but then you would encourage me to record them, at which point we'd have to have separate have setups and such. But, like, you know, to go back to it, like, for the Destiny thing, the gameplay doesn't change, but it's engaging enough that it doesn't matter what level you are, you're still running around blasting baddies and having fun. I feel like World of Warcraft, the way it's structured, it's all of the quote-unquote fun or useful or important things Ooh. is, you know, at the end at this point, all the old content, well, kind of semi-important. Well, for me, because I never played it back in its heyday, but, so many of the zones are new to me. I've never leveled through the majority of them. So actually, for me, it's the old content that's interesting and the new content that once I've completed it, once on the Horde and once on the Alliance, it's like then it's a little bit more stagnant yeah. for me. Until the next patch comes out, because then they add a bunch of new features and lore. But I suppose they can have those more often. 